Hey guys, this is my first of hopefully many tutorials on Construct 2. I am making these to both familiarize myself with the engine and provide some helpful tips for beginners, like me. Now, what I will be showing you today is how to make a basic title screen for your project, which I've noticed many new games lack, often tossing their players into a game world with little to no direction. So first, you'll need to open up the Auto Runner template included with all versions of Construct 2. What we're going to do, be doing first is renaming the first layout here to game and then after that we're going to need a new layout for the menu and we are going to also need a new event sheet as well so you'll need to add that and then we're going to resize this down to the size of the game layout and then rename this to menu And then we're going to go to the event sheet. We're going to just open that up for now. And just kind of add some background to it to make it look nice and look more like a, a title, like a you know, like a menu screen rather than some big blank canvas. So let's just add a player here. And we need to make sure that the max speeds are all set to zero because in the actual template um, they are set they have a set speed in order to move across the screen and we're going to need to make sure to send that to the back layer and now we're going to add a button which is going this is going to be our start button so we're going to rename this accordingly and what it's going to do is bring out is bring the player to the uh, game layout and we're also going to add a little tooltip here so that way players know what it does in case you know they obviously can't figure it out just by the wording and then we're going to add a nice little title and we're just going to call it the auto runner it's a very fancy name and let's just do a little resize here and we're gonna make it look a little nicer so I'm just gonna see if that's good enough eh, almost just bump that up a bit there we go okay so now that we got our nice little title going we can also add a little description about how to play So we're just going to make sure they know exactly what they're doing before they click the start button. Basically all they need to do is just click, provide any sort of input, and it will make the player jump. Let's make sure we get this into a nice little size here. Alright. Of course we need to make the first, the you know, the first default layout, the menu layout, that way that's the first thing that players see. And now you may be thinking well there's one more thing we need to do and um, so that's how it looks according to the player when they start and of course you can see here that this isn't going to the game layout yet now we need to add some code on the event sheet so when the start button is clicked we're going to add an action basically the system is going to make our game go to the game layout and that's why, of course, we renamed the layout just so we can figure that out, sort it out much easier. And here is the finished product. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, little tutorial here. I know it seemed just a, a tad long. I'll be working to uh, shorten these up and do a little more, uh, a little more preparation <laughs> before each episode. But uh, thank you for watching my very first tutorial. And see you guys later.